Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. Today was supposed to be another uh, day on the mill, but we've got too much snow coming down. And I really do not like getting the power head wet on that. So there's no, as you know, there's no roof over top of my mill. There's not really much of a wind. It's just coming straight down, but I've decided instead of doing that, I brought some tools with me and we're going to uh, fool around out here a little bit and see if I can make some progress with increasing the flow of the stream coming down to this gathering pond here. Gotta have some fun. So I don't have my carry mic with me, my uh, wireless mic, because I don't want to lose it out here. So we're just going off the mic from the uh, camera and hopefully that'll work all right. We'll see how it goes. All right, I've got one tree up there that's across that I'm gonna cut first and then uh, do a little bit of shovel work. And I'll just kind of work my way up from here and see how that goes. All right, let's get the uh, little DeWalt battery chainsaw and go up there and see what kind of damage we can do to that tree. Well, there's a good start. I know there are people out there that say DeWalt battery tools or DeWalt tools in general aren't any good. Well, I would say that they aren't as good as Milwaukee. Milwaukee is a contractor grade tool. I'm not a contractor. And, and I went with DeWalt battery tools. You know, you've got to make a decision as to what you're going to do in that respect so you don't have a whole bunch of different batteries for different tools and stuff. So I'm pretty much uh, with DeWalt. And I've been really happy with them. I have found for the amount of use I put them through, they have worked just flawlessly. I've never had a problem with any of them. And this teeny little chainsaw, little 20 volt thing, just cut through that without any trouble at all. It does its job. All right. All right, I'm gonna move you guys to a better spot. You're not staring at my butt the whole time. Yeah, that should be a bit better for you. So this tree is laying right in the path that I want to use. So we got to get it out of here. I think I just nicked a rock. Part of the 
problem here is the mat of roots that's underneath this. Makes it very difficult to dig through. Well, we are slowly getting through. It's a very narrow channel I'm cutting, but if I can get the water flowing down it, it will widen itself. Oh my goodness. Well, we got that going more directly to where we want it to go. So far, it is tough work. Well, that's pretty good. So far. So what this is going to do for me is it will help wash away the silt and stuff and then I'll be able to uh, see the roots easier and I can come back with the with my shears and snip the roots out. It is a lot of work. But it sure beats sitting inside. All right, let's have a look the other way. So I'm not really changing the volume coming down here. I'm just getting it more directed so it's not going anywhere. The volume won't really get changed until I get up here. And I can actually start opening up and deepening the channel that uh, is feeding this. But we're getting closer. All right, folks, so my battery went dead. So we've been at this for a few hours now. And I think I am actually up to the point where I believe I can start affecting the flow. I've got to get rid of this tree that's laying in the water here. But to get rid of it, i got to get rid of this one. I think we have actually started to make a difference here. Well, the more I am scraping away at this, the more water is coming through. And the more dirt it's taking down and out of the way. We'll let that work away at clearing the ground, but uh, let's go down and see how the pipe is dealing with uh, handling the extra flow. Oh yeah, there's a lot more flow now.
Yeah, that's making quite a difference. And it's still not going down the path. So that's our first day at dealing with the, the flooding and trying to make sure that it is flowing well. And it really is. We've made some progress on the stream going up the hill. But for now, I think we're gonna head back, catch our breath, get a warm drink, and then just contemplate life for a while. <laughs> All right, well, we didn't get the sawmill running, but we did make some progress down here. And as I say, I love being outdoors anyway, so it feels good to be out here doing this, doing something. The roots are a real uh, issue up there. I do have a bush ax down here, which I'm gonna have to get out and uh, get to using, but I'm too tired now. So if you guys have any suggestions as to uh, how to clear a stream like that, deal with roots and that kind of stuff, I'd love to hear from you. Or any comments at all, please don't hesitate to uh, put something down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this. I do read all the comments and I respond to them and I appreciate getting them. Oh boy. Well, here we are. It's been two days since we did our work down on the uh, trenching to help work on the flooding. <laughs> and we've got snow. Lovely. This won't last for long. It'll be gone very quickly. They were threatening uh, 10 millimeters, but we got very little and it's quite soft. So our plan for today is to uh, just go for a walk right now. Uh, we're gonna leave the ATV behind and uh, head out to the trails. I wanna get back and we'll check out and see how our uh, little ditch is doing that we dug to drain that upper area. And I think I better put uh, a marker on each of my trail cameras. That is something that I did not do when I relocated them. And if you have seen my videos on the lost trail cameras, you'll know how easy it is to uh, lose a trail camera, lose track of it. So we're gonna head back here to those uh, locations because it is still fresh in my memory and put a piece of orange tape on the trees where they are. So let's head back. It is cool. Oh boy. There's nothing holding that up except this other tree. As I was saying, it is cool. It's uh, minus five Celsius right now, but that's okay. The sun has finally peaked out, so it should be very nice day for a walk. All right, let's go. Well, I don't see any tracks out here, but there's the tree so we can start marking and working our way through. I'm going backwards from how I uh, put the cameras in place in the first place. A lot of stuff down, a lot of work to do to clean things up, but I do have a new piece of equipment on the way that will help deal with that. Okay, folks, so we've got four of our cameras now marked. We're on our way down into this area that I'm trying to drain. So I refer to this spot as the Colosseum because it is an, a fairly big open area once you get down into it here and as you can see there's still lots and lots and lots of water so 
So this did look a little more open a couple of years ago. But I think the water level has actually gone down a little bit. So one of the reasons I've uh, called this spot the Colosseum was because it kind of looks like it's got bench seating over here on this ridge. <laughs> but there are more trees down now than there was. This big one here that's come down. And these are coming down, as I've uh, said earlier, these are coming down because they're rotting and the ground is so very soft that as they get weak, you get a storm and it just pulls them out by the roots and over they go. And then they rot, they block things makes it harder for the area to drain. So this will be a big job cleaning this up. But my main goal is to get it to drain. You can hear all the ice cracking here. I'm gonna go through. Oh, I can't believe I didn't go through. So this is where we were working. And scraped out a little channel here. This is pretty shallow. But water is still running. Yeah, you can see the water running down here. Well, that's good, it's still draining. But we'll try to get down here and have a look at the pipe. So there's the gathering pond. You know, the water level has gone down in it, definitely. And the water is not moving as fast coming down the stream here. So here we are at the pipe. So as you can see, it is going, still going through the pipe, but not near as uh, quickly as it was. So the water level has gone down a fair bit. So that's good. I think we're, we've made a little bit of progress. There's Dragon's Back Hill. And our campsite up this way. All right, it's looking good. So I am going to fairly soon get a uh, temporary, like 10 by 10 uh, shelter down here. Set it up under the tree or something like that because I wanna bring down the lumber I'm going to need and start storing it in that tent. All right, folks, so we've done really well with the uh, work on the drainage so far. And obviously everything is kind of frozen up again, so we're not doing any further work on it today. We've got to wait for the uh, weather to get a little warmer again, and then we'll get back down and get back at it and get the sawmill up and running. Well, life is always an adventure, isn't it? It's fun work and we're making progress. That's what matters. Or is it? I think the part that matters is that you're enjoying yourself. And yeah, <laughs> I'm having the time of my life out here. Okay, folks. So thanks very much for watching. I hope, you, uh, I hope you found the videos interesting, or at the very least, a little bit entertaining. And if you have, please give the video a like. And if you know anybody else that you think might enjoy it, please share it around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help. 
So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. Uh oh, I think I've already lost a camera. Where is that one?